Good, after <clears throat> Good afternoon, Chairman Pomeroy, <clears throat> Chairman McDermott, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Linder. Thank you for the invitation to be here today. The OIG has done much work these past years to help SSA reduce its backlog of both initial disability claims and disability hearings. I'd like to tell you about some of our most recent findings. In a prior audit, we pointed out that an appropriate ratio of staff to judges was critical. Without, a, without adequate staff to prepare and process cases, judges cannot work to capacity. SSA agreed with our findings and set a staff ratio of 4.5 staff per judge. In a recent report, we revisited this issue and found that SSA had hired additional judges and staff and exceeded the optimal staffing ratio with a national average of 5.1 staff per judge. Unfortunately, we found the distribution was uneven nationally and that about one-third of the hearing offices were still below the 4.5 ratio. We recommended that SSA take steps to ensure that all hearing offices achieve optimal staffing levels. In a previous review, we discovered that 61 claimants were approved for disability benefits but were never paid. We also discovered 19 claimants who were paid late. Although SSA has resolved those cases, we are now looking to see if other deserving claimants fail to receive their benefits, and if so, why. More recently, the Social Security Subcommittee asked us to look at two issues of concern. Initially, we examined SSA's first-in, first-out policy for scheduling disability hearings. SSA policy states that disability appeals will be scheduled for hearings in the order of which they are received, with only four exceptions. We found that even when a case did not fall under one of the four exceptions, factors such as remote hearing sites, incomplete or lost files, or lack of video equipment can cause a departure from first-in, first-out policy. We reviewed 55 claims with the same October 2009 hearing request date, and our findings revealed wide variances in the processing of these claims. Of the claims we reviewed, 43 percent were in process and still had not been scheduled a hearing. 27 percent had been assigned hearing dates. 11 percent were still unworked. 9 percent were awaiting rescheduling. 5 percent already had a hearing, and 5 percent already had a decision. These findings reveal that after about six months, these hearing requests were filed. Only 10 percent have made it to a hearing. We concluded that a number of initiatives and other improvements undertaken by ODAR will contribute to more predictable and efficient processing of hearings, but that at present the first-in, first-out policy is not consistently applied. Finally, the issue of reconsiderations is one of concern. As you know, when a disability claimant's initial claim is denied, the first level appeal is a request for reconsideration to the DDS that denied the claim. In 1999, SSA began piloting the elimination of this step in 10 states. SSA has now decided to reinstate reconsiderations in Michigan. SSA believes that reinstating this process will get benefits to deserving beneficiaries more quickly. In general, we found that by reinstating the reconsideration step, some individuals who appeal their denial will get an allowance decision sooner. However, more will get an allowance decision later. For example, if SSA reinstates a reconsideration step in Michigan, a claimant denied at the initial level could get a reconsideration allowance 486 days sooner than if they had, appear, had appealed to ODAR without going through the reconsideration step. However, if the, re, the claimant is denied at the reconsideration and appeals to ODAR, it would then take 153 days longer than the current processing time for cases that go to hearing without the reconsideration process. Unfortunately, the data SSA was able to provide did not permit a long-term analysis of the effect of, recon of reinstating reconsiderations. We hope that our review is helpful in understanding the impact of the decision on claimants. We will continue to work with you and SSA to reduce both disability backlogs. Thank you again for the invitation to testify today, and I'll be happy to answer any questions.